So the question is, how much does it cost to heat a swimming pool? Now, in this specific instance, the question came in that a pool owner is has just opened the pool for the year and it's currently 24 degrees colder than they want the pool to be. They're going to heat it up with a natural gas heater. And they asked, well, how much is that going to actually cost me to do in terms of both the natural gas and the electricity costs? Now, in terms of a natural gas pool heater, the electricity costs to heat from uh, all the way cold when you've just opened, you know, mid 50s, uh, something like that. And you're going to heat it up to about 80 degrees. The electricity cost for that to run that pool heater for two or three days that it might take you to do are, are basically negligible. They're going to be, I don't know, a dollar, less than a dollar. It's going to be very little. The real costs for sure are going to be in the natural gas. Most pool heaters are in the 200,000 or 300,000 BTU range, and that's gigantic. That's like 10 barbecues running on full at the same time. So yeah, it, it is a lot of natural gas. And uh, I wanted to just kind of break down that equation a little bit like how much is that going to cost you in terms of natural gas to heat up your pool now this person um, provided some parameters about their pool and i've input those numbers specifically i'm going to go over uh, i've got everything written down here and it's too much to follow just listening to me so i'm just going to go through it once and then you can back up the video as needed and, and i'm going to hold up the numbers at the end so you can see for yourself the formula i used and the actual numbers that i input but in in order to heat this pool the first thing that we needed to know how big this pool is so the way that we get that information is length times width times the average depth times 7.5 and that gives you the volume in gallons and in this case this was a 16 by 36 pool uh, they didn't specify the depth they just said it had a shallow end and deep end so i i gave the average for that at 5.5 and then we times that by 7.5 and we came up with 23,760 gallons that's the size of this pool so in terms of heating we take 23,760 and we times 8.3, and that gives us the weight of the water in the pool. In this case, 197,208 pounds. That's how much the weight of the water is in the pool. So the degree spread that we're trying to cover here is 24 degrees. That's how much heat they want into the water. So you take 24 times 197,208. And why would you do that? Well, the reason why is we're converting into BTUs. And BTUs is the amount of uh, energy needed to heat one gallon of water by one degree in one hour. And so that's why we're using that multiplier. Since you want to go 24 degrees, we need to times 197,208 by 24, and that gives us 4,732,992 BTUs. That's how many BTUs of heat you need to input into your pool water in order to increase it 24 degrees. Now, there was also a second question that was tacked on to the original one, and it was just simply, how long is this going to take to do? And that number that we just calculated there, 4,732,992, that number divided by the output rating of your pool heater will give you the number of hours it's going to take you in order to heat your water. So you didn't specify how what size heater you had, uh, but you would just take 4,732,992 divided by, for example, 200,000 or 300,000, whatever your size heater is, and that will give you the number of hours. But um, in terms of the natural gas cost, now what we need to do is we need to take the 4,732,992 BTUs and we need to divide by 35,069. And why that number? Well, the reason why is uh, in order to calculate cost, we need to determine how you pay for your natural gas. Now, this person was in Ontario, Canada. You pay for the cubed meter of natural gas, specifically 0.1218 cents per cubic meter. That's the price you pay. And in terms of one cubic meter, if we want to try to convert that to BTUs, technically speaking, BTUs actually takes into consideration time scale. But in essence, one meter cubed of natural Natural gas is equal to 35,069 BTUs. And that's why we've had to take the total 4,732,992 BTUs divided by 35,069, and that equals 134.96 
meters cubed of natural gas. That's how much natural gas that you're going to have to use to heat up your water. Now you would take that number and you would multiply it by 0.1218, which is the price per cubed meter. And that gives you a total of $16.19. And that's how much it's going to cost you to raise your 23,760 gallon swimming pool, 24 degrees. And I'll show you those numbers now. So that's a lot of information. Feel free to go back through the video and follow it again now that you've seen the numbers for yourself. Um, but I think that that should walk you through the equation of how much it's going to cast, cost you to heat your pool, remembering that the electrical cost for that is pretty much going to be negligible by comparison. Maybe you could round up and say that the electrical costs were the remainder and you're going to pay about $17 to heat your swimming pool up over the next couple of days. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.